Hello everyone, I'm back and this time I'm going to show you uh, a 3D motion tracking tutorial and uh, there's a bit of a 8-2 going on there. So I'm going to show you kind of idea what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, it's just a simple, really simple uh, little clip here and it just shows it's on Modern Warfare 2 I think. Uh, run down, it's just running along nice th with the bridge then the word presents camera going past and then that's basically it. It looks pretty easy but it's pretty takes a lot of uh, time to do it. So we're gonna go into Sony Vegas. You can use After Effects for this. Going File, Import Media and find uh your base your base clip. Mine's right here. Okay then put that onto the timeline right click properties untick the maintain aspect ratio and here you want to change it from square to 1080 which is 1.3333 next go on to file render as now when it says save type file as you want to go to image sequence and the template would be jpeg All right. So save it as something sensible, just motion track, desktop, and just wait for this to render. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, this will take a bit to render, so I'll see you then. Okay, we're back, and when we've done this we're going to open Buju, and this is all rendered out. It's completely rendered our image sequence, so we're going to, you don't really need uh, Sony Vegas anymore. Now we're in um, Buju, we're going to click on the import sequence on the left side, and here you're going to find the thing that you recently um, converted into an image sequence in Sony Vegas um, and for, do not put it on your desktop because you'll have about a million of these motion tracks on your desktop which I've somehow done. So you want to click the one that says motion track your name 0000, zero, zero, zero click open and it's important to take note of the frame rate and change it to whatever it was in the beginning want to keep consistent frame rate throughout the whole thing. Click apply and open. And that is what can happen if you put it on your desktop. You get all these icons. So, back into Buju, we're going to click on the track features button. And this will track all the features funnily enough in the clip all the main features and once again this will take a while so I'll see you back in the video when it finishes. Okay, we're back. Um, if we just scrub through the timeline now, we can see that it's tracked all the features, and it's tracked quite nice, uh, nice well actually. So that's good. So we'll now click on the camera solve tab, click on all frames, and click optimize camera path smoothness, smoothness. Sorry, click start, and this I'll, I'm not going to skip because it'll take this will take whew, about a minute. As you can see, it's done that really quick. So, as you can see, we've now got loads of yellow and blue dots. And now, we're going to tell Buju where the floor is. So, we're going to add coordinates from Hint, change the origin to the Z axis, which is vertical, and we're going to select two points by clicking one point here, and holding Control, and clicking another point, this one, here. And then when you selected both of them, you must co connect to selected, add coordinates from hint again, change it to X axis, which is horizontally going across. So we're going to hit this one, hold control and press this one. Then connect to selected. I'm going to add one more, which is the origin, which you want to do one which is in the center of your clip. This isn't a great example, but it's around in the center. And then I'll click that one and click connect to selected. And when you've got all these views, z-axis, x-axis and origin, you want to click on the bottom, updates coordinates to frame. Click it three times just to make sure it's done it. Close that, and then we've basically almost finished with Buju. If we go on the 3D tab and hold shift, which is the up arrow, and move around, we can see how our floor will look. And we'll keep going back into 3D and 2D. Now, let's see if it works. You can also export, and then export camera solve. 
Now, you can change your file name to whatever you want. I'm going to change it, I think, to motion tracking. Or something like that. Uh, keep the image and the one down, I can't read that to the same. Uh, cap uh, the type needs to be Cinema 4D, dot C4D. And you want to change the scale seen by from 1 to 100, that's important. Okay, so now we're going into Cinema 4D. File, open. Stop the video if this is too fast for you. Uh, find your one that you just rendered, saved, in um, Boozhu, which that one is. Click open. Make sure this is 10 centimeters. The scale must be 10 centimeters. Okay, then we've got our dots here. If we scroll through the timeline, we can see that on the, on the, not, the dots don't move, but on the floor, you can see that it rotates forward, which is what we want, which is what it is in our clip. So click the four arrows going diagonally with the white around it. Click on background. Then double click this material tab. Unclick, un uh, tick specular. Texture, load image. Now you want to f this is the original clip before you edited everything. Uh, before you even started in uh, Vegas, this is the clip that you want to find. I'm on the right down the bottom here. Yes. Open that. Click no on this message will come up say no and this white will turn into well it should turn into run down there you go uh, whatever clip you've got it should look exactly like that drag the texture onto the background now you can see we've got our background on here now so what we're going to do now is we're going to just quickly scrub for a timeline and tell you where you want the text to be and this is where the floor should be okay this is about where you should select the uh, floor where your text should be okay so I've selected here at the end of the bridge, just so it will be a bit easier for me to put the text on. And the text will go on that red line right there. Okay, so we're going to go to MoGraph, MoText, and drag it to the right here. And we can change that. I'm going to put it to Presents. Alright, uh, you can change the size down from 200 to 100. Okay, I'm going to change the font to BBAS, I think. That looks quite a good font. Yep. Okay. And you can uh, modify all of your settings so that it's not still needs. So if you scroll through back in the timeline, you see that it goes over to the side of the bridge, so that won't do. So that means you have to move it to the left. So grab this uh, square and just move it over to the left. Or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. See that looks much better. Press the render tab. You can see that it looks good on the uh, ground. <laughs> okay. So we're going to click this again, and we're going to this time we're going to click a floor, and it's just basically just a floor so we can put a light on later. So you drag the same material that you did on the background on the floor. Change the projection to frontal. It brings the uh, texture to the front. Right click on 4, Cinema 4D tags and add composite, comp composite editing tag. Sorry, I can't say that right. Untick self scanning and tick cinematic background, I think. And we want to choose a light. And this basically just puts a light, this makes a shadow on uh, w on your text. So, um, you just want to put a light uh, wherever you feel comfortable. See, I've got a, a really weird shadow there, so I'm going to move my light around. It's about here, I think. Oh, no. So, you just got to keep changing it. You'll get the right thing eventually. And you can also move this up and down. And change your light. It will also make your text black if you want to. And put shadows behind it. As you can see here. Now I think that's done. Looks pretty good. Just click the render tab once more. Hmm. Think about here. Click the render tab. Right, there we go. See on the S, that's got a pretty nice shadow on there. So, I believe that's it. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh,
leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer all the questions you have. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.